Hi guys. Hi. Uh, <laughs> congrats, your film is going to the Khan. How does it feel? <laughs> Anurag, you've been there. It's comfort zone for you. Okay. Actually, this has uh, been uh, Anurag. Dubin. See, you, you have to you have to ask them because I'm used to it. Yeah. Yes. Anurag, Anurag, actually. Uh, Anurag, the first yeah. thing you said. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, we are very excited Excellent. that Bombay Talkies is going to come, yeah, and for Anurag, it's also another thing because Anurag has five films going this year, which is. In the history of Khan, the first time for any individual. So it's pretty amazing. Wow. Khan, what about you? I'm really excited. I always wanted to walk the red carpet. Yeah. I'm completely glamour struck. Um, <laughs> and that's I, I, the only reason you're really happy? The two things that I really wanted to do is attend the Academy Awards as a nominee, go to Cannes as a, with a film entry. So one of those two have kind of got achieved, and I make no bones about saying it that I'm unabashedly obsessed by wearing my tuxedo and walking that red carpet. And I'm so glad that Bombay Talkies gave me that opportunity. Karan, you spoke now about the budget. Tell us about how do you really work around that? Uh, <laughs> actors work free. Locations uh, were producers. Locations, mm. as in. Uh, uh, Viacom gave us the office and the studio space that yeah. I shot in, and I shot in my own residence. Uh, thirdly, I requested everybody who came on board; those who were being paid were were paid like basic subsidized yeah. costing, so that I could make my budget. So yeah, basically, we, I went with a begging bowl to everybody and said, "Do it mm. for cinema." What were you on a rock? It probably wasn't as tough for you. No, no, I am. Um, for me, one and a half crores. I, I made a feature film in that before. So. <laughs> For me, it was good. Uh -huh. I was okay. My story didn't demand much. Right. My main location was Pratiksha, mm -hmm. which Bachchan Sahib gracefully, gracefully allowed us to shoot. Rest of the locations were streets where the character was in. Mm -hmm. The only, the big cost was traveling to Allahabad right. and shooting there and coming back. Right. That was the big cost. What and the music. Yeah. It went okay because I didn't have to save any money. I mean, I didn't go over, but I was given the entire money by my production. They didn't uh, take any production fee, so that helped. Katrina didn't charge. A yeah. buck that helped, and uh, I did use certain of my friends' homes. I used my house. I used an apartment I rent, mm -hmm. and I used uh, a friend's house. Mm -hmm. So uh, that helped. Okay. You know, yeah. Bakar. Normal. Shot in Lal Bagh. Yeah. I I shot in my I shot in my building. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Okay. I shot in my building. I shot in my house, and then I shot in in a chal next to my house. And anyway, just like Anurag, I've made a film in, in one, a full-length film yeah. in 1.5 crores. So, it was a pretty lavish setup for me actually. So I was quite happy actually. Karan, you felt like you felt like the, you were the odd one out. No, I was. When I said that, I, yeah. I was. I didn't feel like it at all. But if you just read the four names that uh, in the beginning, yeah. I definitely will jump out. Just because purely because my work has been very like different from what Anurag, Dibakar, or Zoya have done. Yeah. Um, and uh, but I think that that's what excited me. That I hadn't done something this unusual, and I hadn't ever been part of something like this, yeah. and I just felt very like very liberated to do it and very happy to be a part of it. So, what would you really think about a star when you're writing a film, or does it uh, totally depend on your story? No, uh, I think uh, both. Because your films have had really big stars. Too. Uh, no, I think both. Like there yeah. are times when you um, you already have a star in mind, or while you start writing the character, you suddenly get excited and you yeah. see only that actor. And sometimes you write the character and you guess who. So I've had a combination yeah. of both, but um, I very rarely have worked with my first choice on anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay mm -hmm. <laughs> either way. Yeah. Karan, how do you deal with the film without glam gloss? That's just so you. It's nice to not be you, yeah. or what people think you are. It's nice to step out of your comfort zone and do something. Not that working is. with stars. No, I think that I think every filmmaker should kind of always break themselves up in some way or the other and yeah. keep kind of. I mean, I, I, I think, think this film is more you than. Me. Yeah, it's a, it's very me actually. It's yeah. uh, it's but what I've done uh, before has been like living up to a certain kind of perception and doing also things that are expected. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually felt very close to this content. I felt I knew it. I felt like what I was directing was coming easily to me. Uh, and I didn't feel like I was living like a, a celluloid experience. I felt I was really living a life moment that I was trying to create mm -hmm. uh, effectively for an audience. So I mean, to me, I, I mean, I, I have to say that I didn't feel any emotional stretch while making this film. It felt very like organically like part of me. Right. Yeah. Okay. Anurag, like Mr. Bachchan, has been an inspiration for you for your story. What have been your individual inspirations for your stories? Well, actually. Um it's it, it's a personal story. Mm -hmm. It's growing up, and uh, it involves people that I really don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And um, but um, yeah, it, it, it's a it's a very personal story. Mm -hmm. It's my childhood. Okay. Yeah. 
No, there was a uh, there was a point when we when we would say there's it's a Karan Johar brand of cinema, it's Anurag Kashyap brand of cinema. But we can't really say that anymore because you know you, all you guys are doing different kind of movies yourself. What do you say about that, Karan? Well, I think that's because uh, that's the order of the day. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you constantly repeat yourself, there's too.